Good morning, afternoon, evening, anytime is amazing because we are in Venus. In this video, we will enjoy the beauty of the people, the city and its inhabitants. We call it Dolce Far Niente, the sweetness of doing nothing. In Venus, you need to see all the iconic sights, but it's also important to get lost in the narrow streets and feel the real taste of the city. We were filming a short video about this mysterious Italian sketch. By the way, a strange fact about Piazza San Marco, you can't paint pictures here. If you come here with an easel, you can be kicked out or even fined. Apparently, they're too tight of the artists. This video will be a mix of Venetian life and what it inspired me to create. I begin to paint a new picture in front of your eyes. I'll show you just a couple of moments, but it will be saturated with the atmosphere of the city of my dreams. I think we really feel like we are living in present when we travel. The moment of contemplation of the beautiful awakes us. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why we all time seek to travel. Every year I paint a new me on a new canvas but at the same table. One day I'll make an exhibition and I'll show you the concept more clearly. But it's time to make a new one. I need the edition 2022. <laughs> I want to show you a fragment of this breakfast in a cafe because of the table full of dirty cups of coffee. I found it very atmospheric. Teatro Italia, but inside a grocery store. At any opportunity, you can go out in such small narrow streets to the big canal, because there are the most amazing palazzi along it. <laughs> Venus is full of creative mailbox and doorbells. It's very exciting to ride a gondola, but it's even more exciting to watch people who are enjoying this process and the way gondoliers dexterously control their oar and balance. By the way, all these small squares aren't gold squares. There is only one in Venice, Piazza San Marco, San Marco Square. An interesting fact is at home we have the same floor as in many places in Venice, a chessboard of white and red marble. A souvenir they bring from every trip is a magazine. Most of all, I love about interior design. Sometimes people order interior paintings from me and I need to know what is in trend now. So this is my type of postcards. Also, when I create an interior painting, I listen to the wishes of the customer, to the colors and rhythms of the space. But what is in trend is far from the most important but I should know. All the animals came to cuddle a cue formed. <laughs> a wonderful panorama of Venus opens up on the roof of the Fandaco de Tedeschi. The red escalators is a very Venetian idea. It turns out that now you need to book your visit to the terrace. Of course, we didn't do that, but it's okay, another time. The luxury multi brand store building is a classical Renaissance palace, built like a bell. You can tilt and see how at the bottom people are sitting in a cafe. A small sketch from the Rialto Bridge, the largest bridge in Venice. Just listen the sound of the Venetian water. It's just music for my ears, and this place is very famous photo zone. Chaotically released masses of people cascade down from the perspective of the bridge and the abstraction from Venetian water and buildings. 
Look at these happy people and the sun reflected in the waves. The sun under Rialto. I begin to paint and behind these few strokes of oil paint I will tell you the feeling that you realize after the trip. Also the most of the vlog is yet to come. When you travel a lot, you see a colossal amount of beauty. It doesn't always have time to assimilate in your mind. But this is even good, because you can always return with your thoughts to these moments and supplement something for yourself. I'm always drawn to return to Venus, but in autumn it's a very special feeling. A full conviction that this is exactly the place where I should be. I already have goosebumps. In my mind, Venus is a cloudy city with damned cold, gondolas emerging from the fog. But I'm always lucky with the weather. But it seems to me that any weather in Venus has its own mystical charm. Many writers admired precisely the winter Venus. They probably found revelations in the mist over the sea. Some inhabitants of the fish market are still moving. It looks very specific. But the fish is really fresh. I heard that they are even going to transfer the fish market in the mainland. How is it possible? Of course, we got lost. Everything is as it should be, going according to plan. Look how many little fishes are right by the stairs. I really like this narrow house, which literally squeezed into the street. I think that the marble print is painted on it. I cannot imagine how there can be so many stunningly beautiful clocks in one city. Well, just a dragon holding a lantern. We are looking for Chiquetti. And we found the place that was recommended to us. Chiquetti are small Venetian specialty sandwiches. They are served from morning to evening and are often eaten on the spot. They come with bacala fish, various seafood, martadella and vegetables. There are so many variations. You can take wine or prosecco for a complimentary addition. Our way to San Marco from the side of the legendary clock. Now we are going to the Florian Cafe to drink coffee. Florian is completely unique cafe because it's the first cafe in Italy. Here, by the way, women were immediately allowed in, unlike most of the others. Everyone was here from Casanova to Hemingway, Proust, Brodsky, the whole cultural hangout of the last 300 years. Yes, Florian is 300 years old. And what we have in common with it, it our birthday is on the same day, December 29, only I am 23 years old. I'll quote, comfortably seated in the magnificent halls, completely restored in the mid 19th century, you can breathe the long and lively history of the city that unfolded outside the cafe stained glass windows. The rise and the fall of the Republic of Venus, conspirators plotting the end of French and later Austrian rule. In fact, the wounded from the 1848 uprising were treated inside its halls. A few more touches and Venetian fables. I paint brushes on stems like plants. I think this composition will have a very interesting result. In Venice, you can feel the whole philosophy of Festina Lente. Hurry up slowly. Here you want to have time to see everything. But at the same time, you need to savor the moment. You can feel the rhythm of the city and go with the flow of its canals. Each trip to this city is absolutely priceless. It reveals it from new sights. In general, all the time when I come to Italy, I want to somehow be needed by this country, to have some business here, exhibitions, orders, friends. This country is my biggest source of inspiration. I think it's a great satisfaction when you feel that the place you need, needs you too. 
and in the painting I'm trying to integrate facial features without breaking the rhythms of abstraction. I think a bit of Venetian red on the lips won't interfere. Let's go back to the Piazza San Marco. I'll tell you a legend about famous watches. It said that this clock was so beautiful and unique that the craftsman who created it was blinded so that he wouldn't make the same ones. I'll show you some more Italian sketches. Write in the comments if you are interested in me filming the process of drawing these beautiful views. For many years I just copied reality in my paintings, but now I create things inspired by places and events. It's like a thing in itself, not just a copy that the camera can do better. Let's meet the Venetian sunset over Santa Maria della Salute. Gondolas rocking on the waves. We are going to the Dodge Palace, not yet imagining what an incredible sunset awaits us. This is definitely one of the most beautiful palaces I ever seen. This is my first time here. I highly recommend you to visit this place. There will be even a tour of the prison and a bridge of sights from the inside. I've always kindly envied the children who go on such excursions. They don't realize how lucky they are. Meet Artemisia Gentileschi. And the most stunning hall of the palace. This is the largest painting in the world painted on the canvas, Paradise Tintoretto. It's impossible to get enough of this beauty. It's mesmerizing. There is some restoration going on. I want to lay on the floor and look at everything. When my leg goes to one painting, the other to the other, at a colossal distance from each other, and the body somehow loses balance from the fact that you are always looking up. View from the window and a panoramic view of the one of the largest and grandiose halls in whole Europe. I just dreamed to see it in life, but I heard the guide who led the English group and he was indignant in every possible way how it could be here. But Anselm Kiefer really evokes a huge amount of emotions. This is one of the most impressive pieces of contemporary art I have ever seen. We are now passing right inside the Bridge of Sights, the last views of Venus that the prisoners saw. It's just a crazy energy here after the exhibition and this prison cells, I was already shaking. Now we are right in the prison cell. The atmosphere is completely overwhelming life. Let's look at the tourists unaware that we are here inside. The shops at the museums are also my great sympathy. And here, like in many museums, there is a cafe. All Venice is flooded with pink light this evening. It's an amazing sight. A stolen story that happened to us when we left the Dodge Palace. We literally saw the wind line of San Marco flying in a cloud over the square. We made it 
the whole trip on doors, clocks, paintings, sculptures. Maybe it doesn't look so clean photo, but in real life it was very impressive. It was huge and made of sunset gold. Evening Venice is special and different magic. It seems even more unreal, similar to a dream. This unique city lives its incredible life like an ordinary place. You can see more locals who go after walk to grocery stores or cafes. One day tourists sail away. The main thing is not to fall into the dark channel. It's a very cool contemporary art gallery. We didn't have our desserts dolce for lunch, so we were looking for a place to do it at night. The navigator took us through the crossing on a gondola for two euros. The gondola works like a bridge and carries people all day from one coast to another. I knew about it, but I had no idea that we would be able to meet it. We were wandering around Venus at night for a long time and I was so hungry that I remembered that I had taken baby food just in case. Hungry I found it very tasty. We finally found our dolces and I was so happy like a kid. I would really like to live in Venus, maybe not in this life, but someday I'll definitely. I hope it will wait for me.